Hello commanders and welcome in part 12 of the German Empire series here in front of you the Algerian armies that are spreading in the Greek lands my drones they are doing some inspections here on these uh, lands I'm trying to figure out what kind of armies etc well looks like uh, Algeria has uh, expert fighters strikers low level and max level uh, motorized infantry. In today's episode, we are going to see a lot of surprises. Just keep watching till the end because uh, what you are going to see is gonna be interesting. Meanwhile, we are going to continue on the invasion of Turkey and also we are going to start our expansion in the Nordic nations up the north. I already uh, stationed a stack of 10 uh, National Guards there. This is uh, the Chinese forces and armies. They are going for the Balkans there. They are trying to prepare themselves for the invasion against the uh, Africans. Of course, in the last episode, I revealed that uh, the German Empire, Japan and China, they are going to work together uh, to beat down the Africans here. We did some diplomacies. I gave them the right of way to be able to use my airfields and the airports to operate their air forces. And me, I'm trying to expand swiftly on both directions in the Middle East there and also in the North. I need to have all of the continent of Europe under the rule of the German Empire to be able to win this game in solo. But this game is so far from being over as we are going to have a huge big final battle against the toughest uh, coalition in this game which is going to be the African one. These are our naval patrol aircrafts uh, scouting the Mediterranean Sea and our uh, southern uh, coasts in Marseille there. Of course that France is under the rule of the German Empire. Here are the Africans that are present in the Iberian Peninsula. These are more of uh, the Algerian infantries here. He gave me the right to fight, by the way. Yes, that I need to mention this because uh, uh, when uh, Algeria he, uh, conquered uh, Greece, I had my infantries trapped inside one of his uh, provinces. So I asked him to give me the right of way to be able to move back my infantry. So yeah, we have the right of way now and... Uh, this is a good thing and also a bad thing because maybe the Africans they might betray me and he can use the right of way to kill me in my capital. But at the same time this right of way he can uh, be useful for me because when he is going to cross my lands I can see the exact composition of his armies and like that I can prepare myself for the invasion. Here I am uh, spamming a lot of mobile sum launches to prepare myself in and fortify my uh, air defenses there. Also, I'm spamming naval patrol aircrafts, the max level, the persuader uh, model, and also the conventional warheads for the cruise missiles. Already I have 16 warheads and I'm going to have more by the time passes. This is uh, the Japanese Air Force, heavy bombers, strikers and air security fighters, all low level. He has level 3 mechanized infantries and level 5 motorized infantries. Now I'm going to start my Nordic campaign. The invasion of Finland. I am going to start with the air assault uh, with my strike fighters. I'm going to strike all of his homeland cities and later on I'm going to enter empty cities with my national guards. The same, um, the same uh, strategy against uh, inactive nations and inactive players. It's uh, the best one to expand fast and swiftly. He has a recon division here with his stout artillery in the city of Tallinn. Uh, it has automatically engaged my infantry station there in front of his capital Helsinki. So yeah, like usual, I'm going to uh, airstrike it with our strike fighters, with the German Luftwaffe here. We are going to do what the USSR couldn't do during the World War II, in the Winter War. You all remember what happened between uh, the Soviet Union and Finland. The Winter War was uh, a huge disaster for the USSR. But today, the German Empire, after it took down Russia and all of the uh, Soviet Union here in this, uh, in this campaign, we are going to engage in the Winter War and invade Finland. Turkey has uh, some defenses here. Also, Algeria is uh, advancing with, I don't know, some kind of artillery, as I suppose. This is the map. The Africans, they are ruling over the seas here. Well. Japan is sending level 2 mobile tanks and uh, an infantry officer there. They are sending pretty much everything 
Algeria took the city of Diyarbakir from me. At least I'm going to gather these surrounding provinces. This is that invasion of uh, Finland. He has a lot of land units, mainly uh, recons and uh, motorized infantry. It's going to take a while to take them down. I need to keep uh, air striking them with my two stacks of strike fighters. The city of Tallinn has been uh, destroyed, all of those uh, defenses there has been infiltrated and now I'm going to enter into my national guards and claim it under the rule of the German Empire. Meanwhile, the invasion was uh, in all directions with a lot of national guards there to be able to take as much lands as possible in a short time. Level 3 cruise missile research is underway, now we have 32 conventional warheads. And now we have the level 2 Oslo mobile sum launches. At least my goal is to have the level 4 cruise missiles, like that they will be uh, strong. Look at these naval radars on the Bay of Biscay here. There is one in the intersection of my uh, western coast of France. Hey, this is uh, DR Congo patrolling our borders with his, with his drones. He has drones as well. Okay, let's uh, send uh, my drone to see what, what is this naval radar and uh, my naval patrol aircraft to see this one also. Let's figure out uh, what these guys they are cooking for us because that's, I am going to consider that as uh, an imminent danger, an imminent danger that I need to prepare myself for. Especially when playing solo in uh, the middle of Europe, you are going to be surrounded by enemies from all the sides. Sometimes you need to side with uh, someone to be able to cover your back and in other times you should never trust anyone so here when I'm trusting the Asians and they are already in my lands I am gambling we will see in the upcoming episodes if it is a worthy gamble or not look at this boys look at this okay first of all here my drone is uh, on top of that naval radar but cannot reveal it and this is Cuban aircraft carrier that is carrying naval strikers why the hell is Cuba doing here what is he what is he doing here you can see that drones they scout and they uh, reveal stealth but they cannot reveal sonar they cannot see it they cannot reveal it that's my naval patrol aircraft showing that naval radar which is a sonar but my drone cannot see it Okay, it's so uh, a lesson for you guys today that drones, yes, they reveal stealth, but they cannot reveal submarines or scout them. So uh, to be able to see the exact composition of that sonar, if it is, I don't know, maybe uh, attack uh, submarines or ballistic submarines or elite submarines, we don't know. So we will have to uh, patrol over it and scout it with our MPA to be able to see the exact composition of that one. The capital Helsinki has been destroyed and now it's empty and uh, waiting for my national guards to enter it. At the same time I'm preparing my national guards on the coasts of Sweden because uh, when I finish uh, Finland I am going directly to start the invasion of Sweden. I do not want to lose any time here because you can see that Cuba is already on our coasts. And we have another naval radar that I don't know what is it yet, but we are going to see it. Let's have a look here. My NPA is very close to the target. This is the aircraft carrier, ghost of your mom. Well, um, so yeah, having an aircraft carrier has a lot of meanings that these guys, they are preparing for an invasion on the German Empire. Let's have a look at this one also, this sonar. Uh, if, if it is attack uh, submarines, it's going to be an easy fish for me. Well, it's not. It's ballistic submarine. Okay, this is dangerous. Mozambique, this is dangerous. Especially now, I do not have anti-missiles yet. Okay, boys, just tell me what to do in the comment section. What are your advices for me to be able to prepare ourselves for this invasion? See you guys in the next episode and bye bye.